Hi guys, welcome back and today guys I'm gonna show you a dual face cam effect and this tutorial is gonna be on mobile. So basically you have one video but now I'm gonna show you how you can split it into two separate face cams. So you can use it for example when you play a game with somebody. And I'm gonna use KineMaster for this effect because it's my preferred mobile editor. The video that I posted yesterday went absolutely insane. It has like 2,000 comments and in one day. So guys, I'm gonna do a part two, but instead of just saying, oh, share what your channel's about, I'm gonna actually show some of your channels. And when I post a part two of that video, I'm gonna tell you the exact rules of how I can show your channel. But also do not spam in the comments because this is a tutorial video, so don't do that. I'm sorry, I have no second person in this video, so I say hi to my little friend. So first, stay a little bit apart with the person you're trying to record with. Because if you do this, it's not going to look good in the camera later. So at least put the person a few inches apart. And of course, you can do like some gameplay, but I'm just going to focus on face cam. So for example, I can't believe I'm playing against a llama. And now that we have that clip recorded, let's jump into the Kind Master. Of course, first you open KineMaster, and as you know, create a new project. Just quickly, today's shoutout goes to RJ Reacts. He's on my channel for a long time, and his link is gonna be in the description down below so you can check out his channel. So show him some love. Shout out to you. 16 to nine, then you go to media, and the background is gonna be some gameplay, of course. Obviously, this is just some random gameplay. This is just to show you how to do this effect. So we have this car background, now instead of media, click layer, and then in layer, click media. And now I'm gonna choose the video when I was with the llama, AKA my co-player. So this is me with the llama, and now you go to cropping, and basically now we're gonna crop the llama out, so it's only me. And there you go. And now of course resize it so you can put it to which corner you want, like that. And I click check mark. Now you go to layer again, and then of course go to media, and then choose the same clip. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but instead of cropping the llama out, it's gonna crop me out. So crop the other person out, you see? And of course, resize it and put it to which corner you want. There's two or three more steps before you can make it perfect. First, of course, adjust the face cam together with the gameplay. And make sure the second face cam clip is adjusted to the exact same time. And to be sure you can zoom in with your fingers or zoom out to see more clearly. Now that everything is in the beginning, that would be good enough for the video. And now go to one of the face cam clips and mute the audio. And only leave the audio in the other clip. And of course you have to adjust it for the gameplay and stuff like that. So you might want to lower the gameplay volume just in case. Okay, that looks good enough. And now you click the check mark. And then of course you export the clip. And always try to adjust it to the best quality. So 1080p and minimum 30 frames a second. Okay, it's almost done and here's the clip. I can't believe I'm playing against a llama. And you can use a similar method to duplicate yourself and I'm gonna talk about that in another video. Hey, what's up Chris? Yo, what up bro? Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, how are you? Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.